The healthcare industry is facing a lot of challenges right now, some that are obviously in the press, uh, the rising cost of care, uh, strained resources and so forth. We're going to need to manage people's conditions, their chronic conditions, acute conditions. We need to improve wellness. So wireless technology really is in a great place to do that because the phone's this device that you have with you all the time. And it's going to allow you to be connected to your healthcare professional in the same way that you're connected to your friends, family, and colleagues. I think the real benefit will be keeping people well longer, uh, managing their chronic conditions, and when they end up having an acute condition, then being able to manage that as well in the most efficient uh, way possible. So a lot of real benefits to the end user. In the end, what it is, is making healthcare more personal. There's a lot of innovation going in to wireless health right now. I see a lot of startup companies that are coming out with new kinds of sensors, and there's proof points that these actually are providing benefits to people. We are building with startup companies these wireless devices that can monitor things like blood pressure. We even have a company that's doing one that monitors calorie intakes. There are things that, um, that will go into pills, the uh, chips that are actually made out of digestible uh, components that when you take the pill, the stomach acid starts a battery and it actually transmits out and authenticates that the pill is okay and it also tells you that you've taken it. The pervasiveness of wireless communications really makes a difference for many people in the world their phone is going to be the only way that they have access to the internet and to other people and clearly that has implications for health care. It also has implications for a lot of other issues, entrepreneurship, education, e-government, public safety. I mean it really the fact that the phone is out there and that mobile technology is probably the most pervasive technology in the world means that we can use it as a platform to affect a lot of social uh, benefits and uh, so healthcare is just one of those. Now the other issue that you have also is just getting distribution of healthcare. You have the issue that clinics may be available but there may not be doctors who can go staff them. So for example we've had uh, many telemedicine things where we took a 3G connection and put a video camera in a clinic where the doctors might come every so often to treat patients but for follow-up they're actually doing it over video over 3G and therefore you're providing a kind of health care that wouldn't have been able to be provided in these developing markets uh, by leveraging the doctors much more broadly on a geographical basis than they would be able to otherwise. So it's this combination of using the phone for uh, sort of virtual monitoring and then combined with the ability to actually bring health care to be targeted into the location. There are a lot of barriers to wireless health starting from just getting devices and services through the regulatory process. So if you start out by thinking that there'd be a group of engineers maybe who come up with some new wireless sensor all the way through getting that connected to devices and then through trials and then finally translation into practice. It's a very, very long road. So there's a lot of work that can be done to streamline that process, to put in place institutions that will actually help that happen much faster. Uh, so that's clearly one issue. Then there's an issue of standards. So there's going to be a lot of information that will be created by this continuous monitoring by wireless health. And there need to be ways of having access to that information for the doctor, for the end user, for the end user to be able to control access to information and designate who should have access to their information and also to get interoperability between the various systems. To the extent that we can bring about more standardization and more collaboration within the industry, that's going to help out tremendously. So really that's going to take a, a broad range of both industrial partners, uh, possibly governments will get involved, certainly NGOs will get involved. Uh, a lot of partnerships are going to have to get created in order for that to happen. So what I'd like to see out of the group that's uh, gathered under the auspices of the World Economic Forum is to use that pulpit that the World Economic Forum creates to communicate, to educate, to inspire action among the various groups and constituencies that are going to be involved in getting these mHealth uh, products and services from the idea stage out into actual practice.